Well, this is a little challenge that we've accepted to see whether we can make an improvement upon this for the client. Um, it's been chewed by a dog and we're going to be doing a series of little videos through this um, and putting them all together to see whether we can um, make any improvement on it for the client. Hopefully we can. Um, I don't know what to say. It's, uh, it's pretty bad and it's an extremely thin plastic coating obviously um, and there's bits hanging off it all over and it's in a bad way. So we'll see how it goes. Right, what we're going to do first of all Obviously, the, some of this is obviously all raised up um, because it's a very thin plastic. We're going to have to try to do a heat cure process, but we are going to get some smooth areas appearing. So we're going to have to sort of regrain those as best as we can. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, to try to reduce down some of this sort of buckling, um, we're going to heat with the, um, it says red hot, but it's, it's not, it's just an ordinary hairdryer. Um, and then I'm going to use all my dental tools and things to try to sort of manipulate this back into position. We need to obviously get it reasonably hot, but it's not, you know, you can't even use a heat gun on here because it's just going to melt this because it's so thin as the plastic. So we've got to do it with something that's a little bit more gentler using the hairdryer and just manipulating down. You know, so we've got to glue this little piece here um, in position, which will improve it straight away once we can glue that in position. But we've just got to keep manipulating it and try to stretch this back down if we can, which it is doing and it's working. So that's good and it's certainly making an improvement there already. So we need to try to get rid of this lump that's just here and flatten that lump down. Which we should be able to do now. So I mean that'll be able to, that should be all gluing quite nicely into position now, look. So we should be able to create a nice sort of flattened area. So just, it's a little trick. Can't use a heat gun or anything like that, um, but the hairdryer's working fine with the dental tools. Right, the next stage is to glue all these bits down. So we've got all this here glued down already. We just need to keep pressing hold of it while the contact adhesive is taking a hold, um, you know, and sort of pulling that down. This one we've got done quite well, and um, this one here. So we need to put filler in this as well when we're ready, and the same with this one. But we just need to, now we've got this in, in, um, correct sort of flatness that we need it we've got this one here glued down this small one here um, but we've got a double challenge here because we've got everything is we've we've degreased as much as we can but the whole interior is blathered with about 20 gallons of silicon so we've got quite a challenge because it's got into all the foam um, it's got everywhere we have tried to clean all this sort of foam area down here so that we can stick but we, we are going to be facing quite a challenge but I think the next thing that we're going to do is once we've got this glued down we're going to let a small piece of leather in here actually. Um, very thin gloving leather is what we're gonna let in. We've got some gloving leather that's sort of like a 0.55 mil thick. So it's <clears throat> just over half a mil thick. So that's what we're gonna actually let in there, I think, um, before we do anything else. And then we can sort of start graining these areas here to try to improve those. The stage well. is we've got a thin piece of leather cut and we've just got some contact adhesive in there now. Just waiting for that to cure for a few seconds. These are already, for what they were, are looking a vast improvement already. We need to sort of flatten this one out a little bit more. We need to maybe get a little bit more glue underneath there, just there on that one. Um, and then we can start filling them. Um, obviously the next stage is to get all this pushed down into position, which we're gonna do, and get all this flattened out. And then once that's glued into position, we can then start to use fillers and things to help build that up. But we just wanted to get a bit of a body there for that. And then once that's all filled in, we can then start to Obviously with fillers and things, we can then start to blend in color um, and stuff like that as well to this and put a grain in here as well and hopefully make a vast improvement upon what it was and a happy client. I mean, the client is fully aware that we, we cannot create miracles. I mean, something like this, because it's a thin plastic we're dealing with and not a leather, it's obviously extremely difficult. It's not even a, a good vinyl to, to sort of do it. So it's, it's very, very difficult, but automatically there we've got rid of the hole and we got a bit of an improvement so yeah looks a bit nasty at the minute but it is an improvement but it, hopefully the end result will be far greater improved as well so the next stage is, is we're going to be applying some heavy filler because we've got everything glued into position now um, we've let a piece of leather in here 
we've got everything glued into position. So now we've got to get some filler into all these areas to obviously help sort of disguise what's happened here with it being mauled by a dog. Um, and we're going to use the um, black heavy filler to do that. So we're just going to simply sort of paste that in and hope for the best with the results with it really. It's a matter of just sort of getting that into the grain like so. And then we're going to obviously have to give it a bit of a stipple effect to get like a bit of a grain there with some sanding and stuff like that. Um, you know, so that we can help improve all that. So you can sort of see the, the sort of effects that we're going to get, you know, once we've got all these areas sort of smoothed off, um, sanded off and things, and then we can sort of get the the next hole sort of done. You have to excuse me because I'm trying to hold this with one hand and get the fillers with another. So I'm working solo. So we've obviously got to build the filler up and then we're going to have to try to grain it as well. Um, but the main thing is, is to make a vast improvement here, which is exactly what we're going to achieve with this. And hopefully we can have a reasonably happy customer as a result. Sorry about not having everything in picture, but we can sort of see the effects now. And then we've got to obviously get all that grained up um, you know, and we should be back to quite a stable state, hopefully. So happy days, hopefully the customer so will be happy. a little bit of filler in here now in the bottom one. So we need to obviously do a little bit of sanding and then apply some more filler and get a tiny bit more sort of grain pattern coming into it. In the top one, we're gonna, um, we've used our grain copier compound in here, which we're gonna cure in a second and see whether we can get some grain in this top area, which is gonna be a bit better than what this is here. Cause this is on the side. It's not so noticeable when you sort of get further back, um, you know, it's, comes in focus you, you can't you know obviously on the top there it's much more visible whereas down here when you're in person in shadowing um because we're, we're i'm only literally now like a couple of inches away from this so we're very very close up um but we're going to get some grain in this side pattern and hopefully uh, make a vast improvement on that so well. the next stages are we've got some improvement here with the grain and we've got some grain in here now and we're going to give this a light sand is what we're going to do next and then we can actually start on with doing a little bit of coloring to see exactly um, how well this has come out and how well it's been disguised but so far so good and a vast improvement so far so the coloring process is now beginning as you can see the results are already quite remarkable and we've got all the graining in here we need to do just a tiny bit of sanding in one or two areas um, but overall the results are looking so far quite amazing so we just need to now get on with the colouring process and see how much of a sort of decent job we can create of this to hide all this disastrous area. Well, that is the finished results of this dog chewed door card. Considering what it was like, I don't think the results are too bad at all. Um, you can have a look for another angle and you can see there it's just about visible. To me, that is quite a result for what we've managed to achieve, considering what it did look like originally this morning with the huge holes Bearing in mind this is thin, and I mean thin, ultra thin, plastic coating on this door card, which makes it almost impossible um, to heat, which we managed to do with the heat grain very, very carefully. And you know, the results sort of speak for themselves. I don't think it's too bad at all, to be fair. Customers should be very, very happy. Certainly better than the four huge holes that it had in this morning. If you need leather repairs or training, come to leatherrepaircompany.com.